A new day. Da da. Yep. All right, we go, go ahead. How many days do we have? Probably like six. seven. Oh, that's even less. Well, uh, they said six. We so used three. So two, three places we haven't been yet. Poison. I'm thinking we'll be able to get through all these. Okay. Where would a marketplace be? You know, let's go to the Chocolate Emporium. I have a, I have a hunch that I want to follow. All right. All right. I want to go to the marketplace. That was a new day, so. We'll catch Bye. you yep. next time. So long. We return. We're going to l'Emporium du Chocolat. Because I like chocolate. <laughs> chocolate! <laughs> chocolate! Oh, no, <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome to Lando's. Hagelslack Chocolate Emporium, the finest Belgian chocolate shop in all of Patty. Fat elephant. I am Lander Hagelslack, the founder and owner of this establishment. You like rubbing my knee there, Julian? No, I'm just telling you, let Brian have it. Mm. Yeah, man. I, and I am JJ Falcon, defense attorney. Good day, monsieur. Oh, lawyers, very fancy, I must say. I once dreamed of being a lawyer, but, well, circumstances wouldn't allow it. Wonder what it is. <laughs> <laughs> they said I was too fat. It's a funny story, you see, when I was a young boy, I befriended the son of a Hungarian attorney. Ah, uh, 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 uh -huh. You get what that's a reference to? No. Think. Son of a Hungarian attorney. Never mind. Uh, fuck it. Explain the joke. No, fuck it. Move on. Are you talking about like that fat guy in Phoenix? No, joke aborted. <laughs> just go. Shit, man. Explain it later then. Abandoned yeah. thread. <laughs> All right. Help me out, Falcon. What is it? The smell. It's overpowering. Demanding that I lay waste to this shop. My body is ready. <laughs> I will lay siege to all delectable treats in the vicinity. Their bodies won't For be prepared. For pity's sake, restrain yourself, Sparrowson. There will be no survivors. <laughs> oh, but I'm rambling, aren't I? You, messieurs, are you, messieurs, here to buy some chocolate? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, yes, indeed. yes. No, no, no. We are actually here on business, Monsieur. Business. First things first. We believe that this chocolate wrapper originated from your shop. Are we correct? Uh huh. That is indeed the trademarked Hagelslack wrapper for genuine Belgian Hagelslack chocolate. This was almost certainly bought from this very establishment. Very good. With that established, there is something else we wish to ask Monsieur Hagoslack. That is all. No. <laughs> Could the chocolate have been poisoned? Interrogate. <laughs> See, now here's the thing, Landau. We have just come from a crime scene where a man was killed by poison. Oh, that sounds very serious. Yes, quite. But nearby, we happen to find the, the chocolate wrapper that you admitted to being yours just moments ago. That slander, Sonny? I see what you were saying. You think I fed poison chocolates to the man. Monsieur. Mons Monsieur, I am not in the business of poisoning customers. It's not very good for business. If I did want to poison anyone, hypothetically speaking, of course, uh, I would probably use chocolate as of a competitor. He uh, makes a good point, Falcon. <clears throat> Even the dumb, uh, dumbest of chocolate murderers wouldn't leave their signature wrappers at a crime scene. You're probably right. I'll try another approach. Was there something else you missures wanted to ask? Who bought this piece of chocolate? Can you tell us who bought the chocolate that was contaminated in the wrapper, Monsieur Hagaslack? I'm afraid not, Messieurs. Not just because of matters of confidentiality, although that is a fact you understand, but because I couldn't possibly know that. I thought you guys never forgot. That's racist, Sonny! <laughs> <laughs> 
My memory is impeccable, I'm sure, but you must understand, I have dozens of customers a day. There are hundreds of people who could have potentially bought this particular item. Hmm. So your memory is good, but you need further information. About the time and day. We were to give you the description and name of a person. Would you be able to tell us whether they purchased something from you? That's Marcel. Oh, yes, yes. I could probably do that, monsieur. Let me think. Who to ask about? Moosey. Start with the prince. No, go with the mouse. He talked about chocolate first, remember? Yep, yeah, let's uh, go with the mouse. Boop, boop, boop. Right middle. Mousy. Have you ever served a tiny mouse named Mousy? He's very squeaky. No, monsieur. Mice oh. terrify <laughs> me. <laughs> Let me think. Who do I Aw, okay. There goes Damn that thread. Madame Catherine. I'm kidding. Let's go with... Uh, uh, no, <laughs> the no. Major Howell. Oh. You ever served a member of the Royal Guard by the name of Major Howell? Wait, he was a dog, wasn't he? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh. Oh! <laughs> no, 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 Monsieur, that's me. Are you sure? Yes, Monsieur. I've served many soldiers, but I don't recall seeing a Major here in recent history. But of memory. common civilian clothing. What does that mean, Falcon? Have we lost our lead? Not necessarily. It means just means Major Howell didn't buy the chocolate that we may, that may have killed him. There's still the possibility that someone bought the chocolate for him. That's our lead. That's who we want to find. It's the purse of prosecutor. All right. Okay. Probably. I did once serve a high-ranking officer of the British Army who was on the way to Zimbabwe. If you want to hear that story, it's a long one. No. I don't want to hear that story. Oh. Let me think. Prince. That's I too thought you'd obvious. say like the prosecutor or something. Let's go with Mr. Or, Chicken. Nah, not her. What? Juan. Have you ever served Juan Querido, Querido, the Prince of Spain? A Prince of Spain? Ah. No, monsieur. Well, that's good. Well, good to hear. Our clue would have turned into a dead end if our own client turned out to be the chocolate fiend. I did once serve a princess from Mali, if that is any help. You see, I met a girl while hiking through the Himalayas. Please stop. <laughs> Monsieur, as I grow tired of these endless inquiries, perhaps you should come back another day. You know, Falcon, it's possible that we just haven't encountered the oh, chocolate Oh no, we just yet. wasted the day. Rather than coming back here every day making aimless guesses, we should wait until we have uh -oh. someone specific. I think we're fucked. I told you not to I go for the fine. prince. Did we save? It auto saves. I Can told we reload you. the previous save? No, let's just continue as is. No, I we're, told we're, you not to not, choose we're not the going prince. backwards. That doesn't make sense. Might have a point, Sparrowson. I think we're going to fail this one. Thank you for your time, Monsieur Hagerslack. We shall return when our, when our investigation has progressed a little. Any time, Monsieurs. And a new day. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mark that down, Brian. Oh, boy. See you guys next time. <clears throat> uh, we're so fucked. No, we're fine. No, we're not. We only have two days left. Which means we just missed out on that. On you you that see no such markings of how many days we have left. But it had a maximum of six. That can't have been an episode. That was only eight or so minutes. You said new day. Yeah. Well, mark down the day anyways. All right, let's pick a new place. We already went to the Louvre. I don't know why there's still another day to it, because we already investigated everything. Uh, the library. Unless maybe the porcupine was supposed to be a thing. Oh, no, let's just go to the halls. It... The halls or the library? The halls and then the li no, well, the library. The library. Okay. Then I could have some alter an alternate course. line of information. Here for a little light reading, are we? Following the hunting beagle's advice. Oh yeah. Don't eat poison pork. Now that piece of advice. I love bacon. That if we want to learn about a member of royalty, we should hit the library. 
Uh huh. Makes a little sense. So, Falcon, <coughs> I've been wondering a little bit. Since we're in the library and all, are you a uh, classic literature fan, or do you prefer more modern works? Classics. <laughs> Readings for squares. No. <laughs> Reading is so blasé. Give me a good modern opera any day. Good call. Nothing beats a well-made show. Speaking of which, I hear they are performing La Dimension. Damnation de Faust. Damnation Ooh, Faust, de Faust. That's a good one. At the opera comique. I wonder if that's thematic to our case in some way. Probably not. I would sell my soul for front row <laughs> tickets. Uh, uh. Would you, you messieurs? Hey, man. <laughs> would you messieurs mind lowering your voices? I can hear your squawking from the other side of the building. That's <laughs> racist. <laughs> <laughs> my apologies, monsieur. We'll keep it down. Whoa, wait. You're the librarian, aren't you? Wait, is that a lady? No. An astute observation, yes, monsieur. As the only quiet person in the library, I am most assuredly the librarian. Well, now that we have your attention, my friend wants to ask you something. All right, I do. Tell us about Don Quixote. You know what that is. I do. But, but, but Falcon does it. Oh. I borrowed this book from a friend. What can you tell us about it? Don Quixote of La Mancha. It's a classic. Everyone has read it. Y yeah, everyone. But for those who haven't... Humph. I'm not going to sit here and summarize a great work of literature for two imbeciles who are too lazy to read. Now what I expect you to, monsieur. What can you tell us about the physical book itself? This particular book didn't come from any library, if that's what you're asking. See, there's no library card or stamp. I assume it's from a bookshop, a French bookshop, if the French translation and publishing information wasn't a giveaway. Do you have any other questions, or can I get back to work? You seem like a solid, scholarly, well-read individual. I'm sure you're up to date on geopolitical news and the like. I don't need your praise. Spit out whatever imbecile questions is in the back of your throat. Uh, well, we understand that the Spanish throne is currently under dispute. Can you give us a brief rundown on who the contenders are? What a trivial question. Even an elementary school child can name the immediate heirs to every throne in Europe. We can't. Yeah, yeah for, you the, children. for the sake of those children who slept with that class, can you refresh our memories? I'm f very well. Pay attention because I'm not repeating myself. The current reigning monarch of Spain is Queen Regent... Isabella the second of the House of Bourbon, daughter of King Ferdinand the seventh. Upon her death, the crown would likely fall to her husband, King Consort Francis, Duke of Cadiz. Are these real people, Julian? Yes. yes. Although it is certainly possible that an immediate family member could stake a claim. However, the Queen's position is currently being disputed by the Carlists, headed by the Count of Monte Malin. I hope this answers your question. Did you catch all of that, Sparrowson? Yes. Me, yes, <laughs> I did. <laughs> Monsieur, we are actually interested in Prince Juan Querido of Spain. I don't think I heard that name in your explanation. A prince? Prince Juan Querido? Is that what you said? Monsieur, I think you've been misinformed. Ah uh ha! -huh. There is no uh -huh. current prince of Spain. Uh -huh. I'm not even sure Corrido is a real name. It is certainly no line of mo any Spanish monarchy. Uh, I told you I've been duped. And how the bookies th think he's a prince. What does this mean, Falcon? You've been squared up a son. One thing is for sure. Our client is not the prince of Spain. Bum bum. Lunatic, or perhaps he's involving us in some sort of con. the long con. <laughs> we don't have a have long before the trial, but it may be in our best interest to confront Prince Juan directly and get some answers. Alrighty. Are you two quite done chit chatting? 
Don't worry, monsieur. I think we are done here. Thank you for your time. Get the fuck out of my library! I mean, humph. Then I bid you a good day.